Hey guys, today I'm just going to share with you the things that I've been loving in the month of August. Um, to start it off, um, something I've really been loving and using heaps this month is the Gardi, uh Bronzing Powder in Pearl Glow No. 66, which you would have seen me use in pretty much every video. Just looks like that. It's really, really nice for my pale skin. It's not like too heavy, as you can tell, which I got on today. And it just looks like that. Well, that's it, like super concentrated. But if you just like blend it out a little bit, it turns out to be like a really nice color for pale skin. So I've really been loving that because uh, lately I've been looking really washed out on the camera. So just a little bit of bronzer on the cheeks has made me look a lot nicer. Another thing I've been loving this month is the Sleek Contour Kit in Light just for doing my contouring and uh, this one is just the highlight that I've been putting on my cheeks which you can see shimmering on there and uh, this is really nice light uh, brown for contouring just like that a nice matte brown which is also really good for people with light skin like me and just the uh, highlight it looks like that it's just shimmery barely see it just there so I've really been liking that. Sleek um, is actually a really good brand. I really like that. I've only got two things from there, but so far I really like them. Another face product I've been loving this month is the Fox in the Box in Spicy and Sweet. It just looks like that. Um, I'm not wearing this one on my cheeks today, but I do wear it a lot, and I usually just swirl the four colours together like that, and it creates a really pretty colour like that. And I absolutely love this colour. I use it all the time. And especially all the time this month. I absolutely adore it. Uh, another face product that I've been loving this month is the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth uh, Foundation in Ivory, which looks like that. And it's just a really smooth, creamy foundation. It's so nice. That's it there. You can barely see it because it like matches my skin tone really well. And I absolutely love this. I do recommend it. It goes on so easily. So, so easy. Like, my finger just glides in there. It's like, oh, ooh, so creamy. Anyways, before I go creep you out. Um, I've also been loving this uh, Maybelline Age Rewind ooh, uh, Illuminator, Brightening Illuminator. You would have seen me use the other one, the concealer one. But I was finding that it matched my skin tone too much so it wasn't really brightening underneath the eye area and because this is a lot lighter because it's an illuminizer it just really lightens up my um skin so you can see that there it's like a lot lighter than my skin tone which is awesome because with such pale skin like me it's really hard to find something lighter than your skin so i do recommend that because uh it's actually does match pretty good I've also been loving this uh, L'Oreal Paris Base Magic Transforming Smoothing Primer. I've just got a little sample of it, just like that. And I haven't really noticed this making my makeup stay on longer, but it does make my skin feel so smooth before I put it on. So I do like that, but I won't be buying a um, full size because I think it was like really expensive. So no thank you. Um, I've also been loving this uh, Maybelline Color Tattoo in Bold Gold. It just looks like that. It's just a really nice um, gold, bright gold color just there. It's like full on gold. It's awesome. And I've you can't really see in this uh, camera, but I have that on my eyes right now. Just like that, if you can see. And that is really awesome. I love, love the Maybelline, Maybelline <laughs> color tattoos. I've got four shades and I absolutely love them. I think they're awesome and they're really good for their price. And two more things for, oh, no, wait, three more things for the face uh, is the Scan Rimmel Scandalized yeah. Waterproof Coal Liner in number four, Taupe. Which I've been using in the in a um, waterline just to brighten it up a little bit. It looks really dark on here, but on the waterline, it just brightens up really nicely. It's not dark at all. 
And I've also been loving the Urban Decay 24 hour glide on pencil in um, zero, which is just black. I got this, it's just a little tiny sample size. So they both blend out really nicely. But that is really good. It goes on so well. I've also got that on my um, waterline right now, if you can see. And the last thing for face I've been really loving is this 24, uh, 28, I think, uh, neutral palette like that. Uh, I think this is just a really cheap one I got off eBay. It cost me like, I don't know, probably eight bucks or something. But it's like really cheap, like crappy, like it's broken. So I've, ac I've actually started to depot it. If you can see just there, and I've taken one of them. Oh, good save. I've taken one out and I'm going to take the rest out and put them in like a nicer thing because this is like so cheap and like dirty and bleh. But I do really love the colours. They are quite pigmented and really easy to put on considering that they look so cheap and kind of like a crappy price. Um, I've also been really loving this Batiste um, dry shampoo, Sassy and Daring Wild. It's a leopard print one. I don't know what it smells like. The same? It doesn't say what the scent is, but it's kind of nice. Like lasts all day on your hair. So I like walk around all day and I'm like, what is that smell? And then like... I realize it's my hair and I just kind of don't really want it to last that long on my hair. I kind of just want it to be like really nice when I first put it on and then it just like kind of go away. I don't know. Because it's really strong smell. Um, something else I've really been loving is my Sigma Kabuki brushes. My favorite is definitely the flat top. I use that to put my foundation on every day and it's freaking amazing. I definitely recommend this, like full, full recommend this. Even if you can't afford the full set, definitely recommend this. It's like $18, I think, for one. The products I've been loving this month are the NYX Butter Glosses, not just this one in general, but um, all of them and even the NYX Matte, what are they, NYX Matte Creams? Yeah, them. I've absolutely been loving them this month. They are awesome. I've been using the butter glosses pretty much every day on my lips because they're just like really nice and pigmented, but they're not too pigmented like lipstick. I don't know. They're just so easy and quick, and they're like a really good size just to be able to chuck in your handbag or in your pocket or whatever. So I've been loving, loving them. And last but not least, I have been absolutely in love with this nail polish. It's trying to glaze in the color water you waiting for. And this is absolutely beautiful. Just look at that color. I feel like a mermaid when I wear this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's got a lot more green in the uh, off of the camera. It looks all just plain blue on the camera, which sucks because this is absolutely beautiful color absolutely stunning so that is all my favorites for the month of august i haven't really been wearing much makeup this month but i thought i'd do a video anyway and i hope you enjoyed bye